who see a future in the sport for their children. My father didn't see it like that. He's basically like, well, it's your education. Like Football isn't, isn't your living. And that is basically drilled into you day in, day out. If you talk to the average person out there and you say to them, I've got a really good Asian lad, you know, they would think twice about, you know, what he's capable of doing. At first they'd be thinking, oh, he's likely to be in the family business or good at cricket, good at hockey, but football isn't considered to be our number one sport. Right. Federation, which over 12 years has formed links with numerous professional clubs such as Leicester, Derby, Charlton and Millwall. The aim is to promote Asian players to the top level. Guru Nanak from Grey's End has eight teams ranging from all ages in the Federation. We've got teams now starting at the under 10 level where we want to provide them with the facilities, the coaching, to basically give them a start in life that possibly lacks our, our sort of age and possibly even let some of the, the younger lads, you know. Uh, obviously we've got leads with Halton in, like the most talented scout of the town. We've got interest from West Ham, interest from Tottenham. Um, as Neem said earlier, um, uh, what we've done is actually learnt ourselves from our mistakes. But we're, we're actually, a lot of the guys that you see here training have actually had formal coaching, uh, FA coaching, and we're also starting at a very young age. So, you know, if you can get them to do the right things at the age of eight, nine, then, you know, you're sadly in good stead. So, you know, when the scouts all do arrive, we need a... So, based on the evidence, the myth has been exposed, and Asians do have a passion for playing the game. And if emerging talent like Hartful Singh and Bison Zakir make the grade to the Premiership, then a long-awaited Asian explosion will finally happen.